are on our way to the GP right now. Jaden's woken up with chicken pox, quite bad actually. We're, yeah, so we're just gonna go to the GP and get a cream prescribed. Oh, wow, well, mommy, look at this one. Yeah, that's quite bad. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit, a bit itchish. I mean, I don't know, I forgot the word, itchish. Oh no, itchish when you like itch someone and... A few moments later. So, I actually need to clean my house. Mm. Oh, well, I actually love cleaning and I do like a thorough clean every single day. But for the past two days, I've been badly injured. So I haven't actually cleaned for two days. My house is quite trash right now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it now. Wish me luck. By the way, I'm being really quiet right now because Enzo is currently napping right next to me in my bed. So I can't really talk that loud. use anything um my face is pretty sensitive to be honest like anything i use and i would literally like just break out quite annoyed because this is like apparently the hottest day of the year so far it's like 27 degrees today and i've stayed home for the entire day i'm just like in that much pain i do feel a little bit better today though but i can't walk like long distances pain acts up again yada 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 let's be going on a vacation this year um i'm going to spain i realized that we always go to like france spain never really like anywhere else i've only been to france spain and turkey in my entire life I love traveling and I'm pretty sure my favorite part of traveling is probably being at the airport pretty. so guys it's it's now 11 30 in the morning um so yeah i start cooking lunch about 12 and then we eat at one we have breakfast in this house at like 10 a.m so i really feel like eating a full lunch just two hours after like it's a bit much so i just plan it out a bit i cook at 12 instead and we eat at one Ooh, looking righteous i'm hungry as hell story time guys um that was really not cool by the way so i'm gonna make this really quick just because this topic is basically about knowing who your real friends are and being able to identify the fake ones because i couldn't it took me a very long time to this certain situation definitely opened my eyes so this was about this time last year i had a really close friend let's call her um um let's call her jasmine let's call her jasmine so me and jasmine pretty much i would say almost like grew up together from the ages of like 13 up until we were like 24 years old so we were we were really close like that was my sis anyway so i had just given birth i think my son was about four months old three months old so he was literally tiny and then i had my other son who was five at the time. So I had a five year old and I had a, a four month old or a three month old. Cool. So Jasmine had messaged me, remember that, okay? Because it's very, very important. She messaged me and said like, hey, like what are you doing tomorrow? Um, you should come and stay at the house, bring the kids, blah, blah, blah. Now, because my youngest was quite little, I didn't really want to like travel with him and she lived all the way in South London and I lived all the way in East and I didn't have a car. So I wasn't really keen on traveling that far, but my partner, he was going um, for like some football training 
kind of thing. So I was going to be home by myself anyway. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather actually go to my friend's house. So I was like, this is perfect opportunity for me to be out of the house. So I was like, yeah, I will come tomorrow. And I said to her, I'm going to message you tomorrow when I leave. Cool. Next day now, I messaged her and I said to her like, hey, just woke up, gonna get ready now and then make my way to yours. No reply, I was like, whatever, she might just still be sleeping. But then after I finished getting ready, I'm like, hey, just letting you know that I'm leaving the house now, finished getting ready, so I'm now on my way to yours. No reply. But I didn't really think anything of it at the time because first of all, um, she did tell me to come. Second of all, she said she'd be home all day, so it didn't matter what time I came. And to be fair, I'd left the house around like 11 o'clock. It wasn't even that early. So I didn't really think that like, oh yeah, let me wait for a reply. Maybe I should have done and I would have avoided all this, but whatever. So I'm on my way um, to South London. It took me about like an hour and a half with two kids. Let me tell you, that shit was not easy. So like I'm halfway there now and I'm like, it is a little bit weird that she hasn't replied. So I then call her. If it was ringing out or if it went to voicemail, but one of those anyway. I am traveling quite far. I don't want to get there and then she's not home, even though she told me she would be home, but well. So I called her sister, who I was also really close to at the time. And I actually met her through her sister. As in, okay, do you know what? I can't even bother to explain that one. I um, called her sister. Her sister was basically saying like, oh no, um, let me try and get through to her, etc. Then she got back to me and she was like, I actually cannot get through to her. Then finally she said, um, oh yeah, my sister just told me that she's at... No, 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 that's not what happened, I remember. So basically, as I was getting off the train to then go and get a bus to her house, Jasmine finally texted me it was like a long paragraph, I remember. When I first saw the paragraph, I was like, what the hell is this? So I read it and she was basically like, hey babe, like I'm really sorry. I'm actually at a work trial right now. It was very last minute, blah, 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 blah. Um, I completely like, I didn't have time to leave the keys under the mat for you because this part is very important. She said, she did not have time to leave the keys under the mat for me because what she basically done is her plan was to go to the phone shop to fix her iPhone and then after the phone shop come back home to leave the keys under the mat. But after the phone shop, the phone shop took so long that she had to go straight to her work trial from the phone shop. She was texting me off of like a little brick phone and um, her iPhone that is fixed is now should apparently be with her right because she went from the phone shop straight to her work trial so i was like blah, blah. but anyway she was like i'm gonna finish at nine and then i'll be home i don't know if you want to wait for me it was about five o'clock and i was like you know i've come all this way and although it seems like it's ages away i'm just gonna wait around so i went into a greg's i was started going by it was getting quite tricky because then my youngest needed milk he started crying um, I had to ask the staff if they could warm up his milk for me. Then my eldest was getting hungry, I had to get him something to eat. It was just like, it was not ideal. Like, I was out for hours sitting in Greg's with two young children that, like, that is not cool. And I did text her and say like, you know, you should have told me this because I left the house with both of them. You know how young my, my youngest one is, like, it's just not fair, blah, 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 cool, whatever things happen so i'm waiting it's nine so i'm like okay cool i'm just gonna make my way to her house so i make my way to her house i get there about 9 30 i'm now calling her messaging her like okay by the way like i'm outside your um building no reply again get to 10 now and i'm like yo like what is going on still no reply i'm texting her texting her calling her calling her calling her i've probably called and texted like over 10 times 100 you can imagine my frustration because it's now like it's dark outside it's cold outside i've got two young kids like never mind the fact that i have a five-year-old that already is bad i have a three to four month old he should be like at home wrapped up he was in like a you know when you like carry them in the little carrier thing you like he was warm but it's cold and it's still nighttime that ain't cool so i was getting really annoyed at this point it was about 10 30 now i kept ringing like loads of different numbers i'm thinking like if at least somebody lets me in the building i'm like in the warmth so i could just wait for her you know what looking back on it now i really should have gone home and i don't know why i didn't i think it was just the fact of knowing that i've come all this way it took over an hour for me to get there and then the thought of having to go all the way back it was just like really cannot be asked for that right now so somebody finally let me in so i'm sitting like on the stairs in the building waiting for her message and her it's 11 by now by the way then i see her boyfriend walking past 
he notices me and he's like, oh, hey, what are you doing here, blah, blah, blah. I explain the situation to him. He's like, oh my God, like you was outside this whole time. Come inside, like he's got the keys. So he lets me in. Um, I get the kids ready for bed. They're in bed. I change into pajamas. He's like, so where is Jasmine? Like what's going on? And I was like, well, last I heard, like she's at a work trial, etc., etc." He's like, cool, well, she should be home soon. Now, when I got changed into my pajamas, I went into her bedroom to get changed. What do I see on the bed, guys? Her iPhone. The iPhone that she said she went to the phone shop to fix and apparently did not have time to come back to put the keys under the mat. But yet, this same iPhone is on the bed. So either A, she never went to the phone shop to begin with, or B, she did go, but she did come back home. She just didn't want to leave the keys under the mat. So that already, that was fishy. That was like strike one for me. I was like, that is really weird that she would lie about that. Strike two, I'm sitting on the sofa. My boyfriend's phone is like on the armchair next to me. Starts ringing. Keep in mind now, I've sent her like so many texts and calls saying like I'm outside of the kids blah 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 no reply so his phone rings and it's Jasmine calling so I'm thinking like so you've literally just ignored me and just thought like let me call my boyfriend because that's more important than my friend who's outside with her kids so I shout out to him I'm like hey um, Jasmine's calling you he's like oh yeah just pick it up so I pick up her phone and I'm like, hello. She's like, hello, who's this? Because she didn't expect it to me. She expect, she did not expect it to be me. She probably thought like, who is this girl answering my boyfriend's phone? So I'm like, oh, it's Sarah. Um, where are you? She's like, can you pass me the phone to, and then her boyfriend's name. And I'm just thinking like, what the fuck is going on? So I pass him the phone. He puts it on our speaker. He didn't expect for her to say anything. He just thought, he didn't think anything's going on and neither did I, to be honest. He just thought, cool, like, they're best friends. Like, I could put it on our speaker, you know, we can all hear what she's saying, where she is. He's like, where are you? He's like, I'm in yours, at your house. She's like, so I give you my keys and you take advantage of the fact that I've trusted you with my keys and you just let anyone in my house. He was like, um... He said something along the lines of like, this is not anyone, like this is your best friend, like what are you talking about? I wasn't gonna leave her um, outside in the cold with her two, um, her two babies. She was like, oh well, I don't know what you guys are doing um, by yourself in my house, but whatever, you guys have fun, do what you're doing. And then she hung up the phone. So to me, I was like, okay, so she really thinks right now that something is going to happen between me and her boyfriend. That's her main concern right now. It's not the fact that I've been, you know, sitting outside in the cold for ages waiting for you. No, forget all that. Let's just focus on the fact that maybe my best friend and my boyfriend might be doing something, which is absolutely absurd, by the way. So then they start arguing on the phone. He, she, he called her back and they were arguing on the phone. This time it was on our speaker. He was shouting at her, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking at this point, like, you know what? If I didn't have the kids with me, I would honestly go home right now. And I would even like just get a cab and go home. But they were both sleeping and you know, getting a four month old to get to sleep is not easy. Like if I was to wake him up, he would be screaming. So I was just like, you know, we're at home, we're in the warmth, like it's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to bed and tomorrow morning I'm literally just gonna leave and then that's it, like I'm not talking to this girl ever again. Then they start arguing and he comes off the phone and he's like, oh, your best friend is a crazy bitch. Like literally like cussing her. And I'm just thinking like, okay, that is like not a way to speak about somebody, but I'm not gonna get involved in domestics right now. Like I just ignored him and was just like on my phone ignoring him, which by the way, still no reply from her. Still no acknowledgement to my text, to my calls, like nothing. So at this point I was literally like, yeah, I'm done with this girl, like a hundred percent done with her. There's no way that there can still be a friendship after this, like this is too much. So he leaves, he storms out, he goes. She gets home at about half midnight. Could you imagine if he did not come and let me in? Half midnight, I mean, by now, of course, I would have gone back home, but half midnight. So she comes in now, and I'm thinking, like, I wonder, like, what she's gonna say, like, she's gonna acknowledge the text. She comes in, fuming, slams the door, drops her bag down. She's like, can you believe, let's say his name is Cayman. She's like, can you believe Cayman, what a prick, blah, blah, blah. Like, he was just chatting shit to me on the phone, etc., etc. I'm like, are you actually serious? That is strike three. That is actual strike three because one, you really, really think that I care about your domestics right now after the shit that you've just put me through. She didn't know at that point that I'd heard him. I'd heard her, sorry, on loudspeaker. So she was just telling me about her domestic complaining and I was just kind of like, mm, yeah, yeah, that's quite sad, yeah. 
then I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. So I went to sleep. Um, next morning, I literally like got up before her, got the kids ready, cab back home straight away. We never spoke for two weeks after that. Keep in mind that we normally speak every single day. She never messaged me, never asked if I got home okay, nothing. I didn't hear from this girl for two weeks. Well, he still has chicken pox on his face, but can't keep him locked up forever, can we? One thing I hate about my girlfriend when she, when she smiles. Why? What's wrong with her smiling? She always puts her cheek up to here, and she always closes her eyes like this. <laughs> Guys, this is the best drink that you ever drink in your entire life. Strawberry and watermelon, the best flavour ever. Help me find strawberries, Jaden. Reduced from £1.25 to £1.25. Really? I said help me find strawberries and he said there is. <laughs> Jaden, I can't eat that. 